the magic of homoluminous. Yes, I use this hashtag. I talk about homoluminous all the time, but I'm fully aware I haven't really revealed much about homoluminous about, apart from showing you that I'm standing for it. Yes, I'm very clear we're shifting from Homo sapiens into Homo luminous. Yes, I'm very clear we are very well into Homo luminous and that shift is just like the shift from Neanderthals to, to Homo sapiens or to whatever else. And so for me, it's a very natural cycle. But what is really crucial about it, and that was given to me a lot through my consciousness architecture, but also the wisdom, the promise, promises of the heart. And of course, there's many people who are talking about this too. Homo Luminous, you hear with Heather Enthworth, the beautiful astrologer, psychologist, anthropologist, whatever we want to call her. And of course, she also had some background in the Peruvian shamanism. So Homo Luminous, I believe, actually comes from there. It takes us also into the Laika. So the spiritual advisors that I have mentioned before of the Inca kings who were dreaming this new world, this new consciousness into being. That we are evolving and shifting as humanity is very clear to me and that we are no longer living in the left brain, but breaking these limitations of 4% of all there is, is more or less obvious. That it is connected to ascension, that it is connected to new earth, is also very clear. So one of the biggest differences is really that we're shifting from an operating system mind into an operating system heart. We're shifting from a base of survival that Darwin told us about, which maybe was true at the time, but the homo luminous is actually based in love. So there's a lot of shifts. And yes, I will be teaching a lot about that. In fact, I'm starting teaching that now in this master class series that is an essential for 2024, for Homo Luminous, for New Earth, for Ascension, for who we are becoming. And in that, I don't only give you more insights about Homo Luminous, but I also give you a lot of initiations so that you not only understand more about it, but that you get initiated to actually live it and embody it and dance to these rhythms. So yes, homo luminous is one of the most important concepts that I'm using. While it is one of the general information things that we're doing and, and that I am committed to, there is much more and there's again much more that I have been given very personal, personally. And so I'm very excited to invite you to check out more about Homo Luminous. Because if you know it or not, we are all becoming Homo Luminous. If we resist it or if we ignore it, Homo Luminous is what is going, is going to be the humanity on this new earth. It has to do with the DNA, with the chakras that are shifting. And it also has to do, of course, with the new cosmic energy that is coming through. So Homo Luminous is also related to, of course, the Aquarian age. So I hope you're getting more excited and I hope you understand a little bit more why I love Homo Luminous so much. I don't pretend I'm fully Homo Luminous yet. I'm still clearing and, and as Tim Wilde and I mentioned him before because I love it and I fully resonate. We still have things to clear in our karmic bodies, in our astral bodies that have kept us in the paradigms and in the frames and limitations, what I call the enslavement and trapment 
and entanglement of homo sapiens. So we're still getting rid of this, but we are, because we are here to be homo luminous, and it is very exciting. So find the links to the beautiful program, Reconnect to the Heart, in the description, and feel free to connect and to have an enrollment chat. It's going to be a small group, because we want to make sure we give you all the personal attention in this first round as well. And also, of course, it's about creating a community because we are in this together. So sending you a lot of love, homo luminous, we are here. The rebirth has already taken place from my heart to yours.